I've been making a game for almost five years now, and many of you know about it, but for those that don't, this is the Pyramid Ultimate, a roguelike and indie roulette challenge where you draft custom handmade cards that have challenges on them for you to complete in your favorite games. We're in the middle of creating a massive update to the Pyramid, releasing on October 1st, 2023. So I figured I'd take the time to create a little devlog, talking about the history of the Pyramid and then kind of discuss what's going on in this new update. Before we chat about some of the history and fun facts, Let's chat about what the Pyramid actually is, because a lot of you still don't know. The Pyramid today is a tabletop simulator mod that you can install for free if you own Tabletop Simulator. This has always been a massive barrier of entry for some people to play the Pyramid, because if you don't own Tabletop Simulator, then you can't play it. And the way we had things configured, it was really only for Tabletop Simulator, which made it really difficult to ever even consider creating a standalone application for the Pyramid. And that's what makes this update so exciting, because we have now developed a standalone application that will run and be downloadable on itch.io for you to play the Pyramid without the use of Tabletop Simulator. But Tabletop Simulator has always been and will always be a home for the Pyramid due to the history I've had in creating the project on here and just the fun in, in flipping cards and seeing your challenges. We'll get back to talking about the application later. Let's talk about the history of the Pyramid. The idea of the Pyramid began back in 2019, when I was thinking about a way to create interesting content for the roguelike games that I was playing at the time. And, and at this time on my channel, people were primarily watching me for The Binding of Isaac, and they loved all of the wacky Isaac challenge runs I was doing, the Wheel of Isaac, the Drafting of Isaac, all of the other of Isaacs that we came up with. So I wanted to make a new project, one that could have these weird, wacky challenges, but in all of the roguelikes and all of the other content that I was enjoying at the time. So I came up with the pyramid, where, where the idea was that you were basically conquering this Indiana Jones-style pyramid of trials, where each floor of the pyramid was a different game, with a different randomized challenge each time you play. A roguelike of roguelikes, so to speak. The initial version of the Pyramid had six main core games, The Binding of Isaac, Enter the Gungeon, Slay the Spire, Legend of Bumbo, uh, it came out at the time, don't judge me, Spelunky, and then of course, the Question Mark deck, which was this deck that was filled with single challenges from other games that would kind of help to increase the variety that you would see on your run. These games were drafted with this custom die that had these games on each side, and I absolutely loved making this, and I still love the idea of having custom dice for this, but the scope of the project has kind of grown beyond using D6s to draft your games. There were also four other games in the initial launch, Streets of Rogue, Dead Cells, Dicey Dungeons, and Crypt of the Necrodancer, but these were actually locked behind getting a certain score playing the Pyramid, so you would get the score and then you would lift the tile off of the board yourself and then it would uncover you know, four more decks for you to play with. The way that scoring worked was each deck has a primary and a secondary objective, basically a left card and a right card. And if you complete the primary objective, you get 100 points. And if you complete the secondary, you get 50 points. And then for each consecutive objective you completed where you get both the primary and the secondary, you got an additional number of points that eventually added up to getting a final max score of 1500. There were a lot of issues with, with the scoring system. Primarily the first one being, it's straight up not easy to understand. Even though we had it all documented and laid out, it just was difficult to, to understand and keep track of what your score was. The other issue with this was you were punished really, really harshly in score by losing one of your runs in the middle of the pyramid because your score would just tank after that and then you had no reason to keep playing the run you drafted because you had no chance to get a halfway decent score. This is something we ended up reworking in the later versions. This initial version of the pyramid also had a shop in it where you would get a certain amount of money as a reward from winning your runs, and then you would spend that money on new objectives that you could add to your decks. I actually really still like this progression, 
but this was something we eventually did away with because we just wanted more variety for everybody, streamers primarily, that would only play this once or twice. I wanted them to be able to go in, draft a deck, and have that deck be completely different than anybody else that had played the pyramid at the time. I did end up making a DLC for this version too that added a couple other decks. It added modded Isaac and, and modded Slay the Spire, as well as a couple other roguelikes like Demon Crawl and uh, Monolith, which has now been renamed to, to Star of Providence if you have not seen that. I streamed and recorded quite a few runs of this version actually, uh, but eventually the, the project kind of died out and, and I didn't think about it for a while. Uh, I really enjoyed making it, but, but nobody was really doing anything with it. And then some members of my community reached out to me and they said they wanted to revive this project and, and give it new life. So we made an update, the Pyramid Ultimate, that increased the amount of decks from 10 to 40. This version of the Pyramid was definitely one of my favorites to exist just due to the fact that it multiplied the content of the game by 4. There were new mechanics like the Situation Deck that could change your run once you drafted it. It actually still had the shop to add new objectives. Uh, and it had these, these custom singular objectives that you could earn new cards with. And these objectives were, were way harder and sometimes just required pure luck. So they wouldn't go against your score, but you would have a chance to complete them during your run. This is still an idea that we're, we're pondering bringing back in the new update in a, in a new way. But we haven't made any decisions on that yet. This update also came with preset bags that had collections of our favorite games as well as preset bags for the developers of the pyramid and also members of my streaming team, the Wholesome Verse. This version was fun and dandy, but we wanted to go bigger. So the next update of the pyramid added another 20 plus new decks and the board had gotten so big that we needed to scale back a bunch of the other mechanics. Suddenly the pyramid had turned more into like a sandbox game where you could just load it up and play any indie game you wanted instead of it being just primarily for roguelikes. We also did away with things like the shop and the custom objectives. It was kind of time to just streamline the pyramid into draft cards, do challenges. So finally, last year, we launched the Deck the Halls update, this massive update that added another 30 new decks, bringing the total to 96 decks of full games that you could load up and play. And this is the version you can actually load up and play today if you wanted to. But we are not done. We want the pyramid to go mainstream. We want more streamers to play it and have fun with the wacky objectives and have their chats shout at them and do all kinds of fun things with, with the games. I love the pyramid for several reasons. First of all, I made it, right? So of course I love it. But I also love what it's done for discovering new games for streamers. I want them to be able to load it up and go, oh yeah, I know Isaac, I love Isaac, but what's that game? And then they look up a game like Revita or Space Gladiators and they learn all about these awesome new games in the roguelike space. So we're planning this massive update, one that will take the pyramid on the road. We have three ways to play it in this update, and we'll still be maintaining the tabletop simulator version. It's the original home of the pyramid, there's something satisfying about flipping cards, but we also have that new standalone application hosted on itch.io that you'll be able to install and draft your runs with. This has been a massive lift to get it going, and I'm looking forward to making a devlog about some of the steps that we had to take to get this set up and configured. It's seriously, there's some technical stuff here that's, that's really cool. But on top of that, we also have a Discord bot that is in the works that's gonna allow you to draft runs from our Pyramid Discord server. There's a link to that in the description. Meaning that you can also draft your Pyramid runs straight from your phone. Three new ways to play however it best fits you. And in case that wasn't exciting enough, we also have another 20 plus decks that are getting added in this update and over 15 existing decks that are getting updated and tweaked with new objectives. It's an amazing project for us to work on and we're really excited to get it in front of you guys soon. The entire dev team I'm working with is awesome and I would not be able to do this without any of them at this point. They're all just as crazy as me with wanting to continue to add and add and add more stuff to the pyramid. If you want updates on this project, please follow us on Twitter and join the Discord linked in the description. We've been posting daily roguelike challenges, and we're also going to be teasing new content in both of those places. 
If you want to see more of these devlogs going into more details on the creation of the pyramid, please let me know. Like the video. If these get, you know, some good views and some good likes, I'll make a couple more videos explaining kind of how we go into the, the process of all of this. I'd like to make more of these. It gets the pyramid seen by more and more people, which is really our entire goal. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, as always, like on the video, much appreciated. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.